So I'm going to talk a bit about AI in film. AI is the hot topic of 2023. Is it going to replace us? Will we have an army of robots on the rampage coming to wipe us out? Is it going to encourage fraud or is it going to make lives easier and advance the fields of science and medicine? Of course, the film industry is no different. People are concerned it's going to put them out of work. In fact, the strikes in America from the Writers Guild of America are raising concerns about two things. One, the streaming services not paying them uh, the residuals. And the other is the concern that their jobs may not be safe as studio heads think they can just hire a bank of computers to write the scripts for them. Now, the latter is in no way realistic. Uh, can a computer come up with the creative subtleties to write a compelling story well? Well, that being said, there are a lot of movies out there that are pretty poorly written, intended for the mass cheeseburger market. Films based on a cookie cutter and a cookie cutter system structure with a consistent success rate is what Hollywood's been making a lot of money out of recently. So, yeah, with that structure, it is possible for AI to predict and work upon, although the original concepts are yet to be seen. I created an example. I posed a question to an AI, an AI app. The question was, create an exciting new superhero. And this was its response. It came up with the name Lightning Strike. The origin story was Lucas Jackson, an ordinary electrical engineer working in a power plant when an, unex when an unexpected accident occurred during a severe thunderstorm. A massive bolt of lightning struck the power plant, causing a catastrophic explosion. Miraculously, Lucas survived the blast, but he was forever changed. The electricity coursing through his body fused with his DNA, granting him incredible powers. Some of those superpowers were electrokinesis. Uh, he had complete control over electricity and can generate, manipulate and discharge it at will. He can summon lightning bolts, create electrical barriers and even transform his body into living electricity, allowing him to travel at lightning speed. Uh, it came up with a whole bunch of others, including electrical energy absorption, electri electromagnetic sensory perception, and electrical healing. On top of which, he had technopathy, uh, which was an, a natural affinity for machines and technology. He could interface with electronic systems, override security protocols, and control complex machinery using his electrical powers. This ability enabled him to communicate with computers and gather information from digital networks. It even came up with costumes and appearances, Lucas's personality, who his arch nemesis was, which was a villain called Surge, who possessed similar electrical powers but used them for selfish and destructive purposes. Uh, his uh, raison d'etre for doing all this was he seeks to harness and control all electrical energy, aiming to become the most powerful being on Earth. Their ongoing battles are epic clashes of lightning and energy, representing the eternal struggle between good and evil in the realm of electricity. It gives a backstory, um, and yes, basically makes him a superhero. Now, the interesting thing is, this was all done in less than a minute gave it the one question and it came up with all of that. Now, is it any good? No, not really. Is it original? No. Could it sell? Well, yes, quite possibly. It does seem to understand that it, well, it does need, it does seem to understand the necessary ingredients for making a film. Character arcs, plot line twists. Although the twists lack subtleties and complexities, it certainly has enough to make some writers fear for their careers given the extra competition. Next, I asked it, give me a sample scene with dialogue. Here was the response. Scene, a bustling city street at night. Lightning strike in his electrifying costume stands atop a tall building, scanning the area with his electromagnetic perception. Suddenly, he detects a group of criminals attempting to rob a nearby bank. He leaps into action, gracefully landing in front of the startled criminals. Lightning strike. Well, 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 what do we have here? Planning a withdrawal without an invitation? Criminal leader. Who the hell are you? Just call me Lightning Strike, and I'm here to put an end to your little escapade. Ha, 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 you think you can stop us with your fancy costume and sparks? We've dealt with worse. Oh, I assure you, this is more than just a fancy costume. 
it's time for you to learn firsthand the power of electricity. As the criminals reach for their guns, lightning strikes, raises his hand, summoning a surge of electricity that crackles and dances between his fingers. The air around him fills with electric energy. Criminal leader. All right, all right, maybe we don't need the money that badly. We'll back off. Smart choice. Now drop your weapons and consider a new career path. I hear there's a demand for bankers who play by the rules. Reluctantly, the criminals drop their guns and back away slowly. Lightning Strike uses his technopathy to disable their getaway vehicle, ensuring they won't escape. Remember, this city deserves better than criminals like you. Find a way to make amends or, or you'll find yourselves on the receiving end of more than just a shock. With that, Lightning Strike activates his electrical speed, disappearing in a flash of blue lightning. The criminals are left in awe, realising they narrowly escaped a powerful force of justice. Lightning Strike, we won't forget this. We'll see who has the last laugh. The scene ends with the criminals dispersing, their plans foiled, while Lightning Strike's electrified form races through the city, ready to face the next challenge that awaits him. I mean, again, all of this, it came up with in less than a minute. Is it any good? It's, no, it's, it's painfully horrible. And the, only th and the only writers that would be threatened by this are writers that should probably find another career anyway. But here's the rub. This is only the start of AI. You know, where will it be in two, three, ten years? I doubt it will be writing Citizen Kane, but it certainly won't be getting any worse than Lightning Strike. The next test was to ask it to create a comedy based on a judge who's secretly the head of a mafia family. It came up with The Honourable Don. For this, it came up with, with the title, uh, the logline, the synopsis. I'll, I'll only give the logline, the rest is uh, in the actual text. A seemingly upright judge has a secret double life as a powerful mafia boss. Hilarity ensues when his two worlds collide, forcing him to juggle courtroom shenanigans and mo mobster antics while desperately trying to keep his true identity hidden. It, so it provided breakdowns for five characters and provided a scene sample, which, to be honest, was truly awful. And then when I asked it to write a script or to create a script based on what it provided, it came up with, I'm sorry, but generating an entire script is beyond the scope of what I can provide in this text-based interface. Writing a script involves extensive planning, character development and scene descriptions, which require a lot more detailed and interactive process. However, I can help you with specific scenes, dialogue, or provide guidance for your script if you have any specific questions or need assistance with certain aspects. So clearly it's still limited. But that being said, this is only one particular AI app. There might be others that would oblige and be capable. Another stumbling block that AI will have is the cultural and social nuances that might be deemed since offensive to social norms. It's hard for AI to gauge these without a human perspective. I suggest given that social tropes are seemingly changing on a regular basis, it's hard enough for humans at the best of times to create films and characters that aren't going to be uncomfortable for some. I mean, if you look at the films from the 80s and 90s as pleasant and mild enough at the time, how many of those would now cause great offence today? We now live in a more sensitive environment. This is an unavoidable factor as society becomes seemingly more tribalistic in their, in their appetites and day-to-day -day lives. So the gentle touch is required to navigate through this. AI does not have that touch yet. It's not just the creative side of filmmaking that will change, but storylines too. It's easy to fail to notice that the proliferation of mobile phones change elements within the nature of stories. And it poses challenges and solutions to various genres. Think of Sean Connery in Thunderball, if he had an iPhone, or Tom, Crow, Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible if he didn't. AI is now going to be a mainstay in our lives, and the movies are going to have to reflect that. The kid that hopes his crush will come over and help with his homework won't have that excuse anymore. He's got AI now. There's another area that people should be exploring, one that could actually be very helpful, and that comes down to combating issues that filmmakers face every day during production. 
It's an absolute certainty that unforeseen problems raise their ugly head on a near daily basis. And when one causes an issue that threatens the budget and or schedule, you don't have the luxury of time to dwell on what the solution may be. In this scenario, if given the correct information, the vital requirements for your film, there's a good possibility AI could work out what areas to redress, allowing the filmmaker to continue in the most efficient way possible. I think it would be an interesting exercise for AI to create 10 log lines for 10 unique films and to see if they could be pitched to a studio exec and whet their appetite. I'm pretty sure if this hasn't happened already, it's going to happen soon enough. But from what I see, I think for now, the writers shouldn't be too worried.